Ethereum 2.0 staking is risky. It's complete with different trade-offs from DeFi. Not only can your initial deposit be slashed for failing to keep up with the network, staking in Ethereum 2.0 also means your Ethereum is locked up from anywhere from months to years. Now you can look at it, but you can't touch it. What if there is a way to stake, earn rewards and still be able to reuse your stake Ethereum without losing the rewards? Let's find out. My name is Faraz from Decentralized Chain. Welcome back to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to learn more about crypto, whether it's news, insights or analysis to help you get that edge, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss a thing. Now, one of the issues with the staking is going to be that initially the locked funds will become illiquid. What does that mean exactly? Well, once your Ethereum is locked, you won't be able to transfer it until transactions have been enabled, which we don't know when that will be, thus barring those who want to participate in the network. Now, the second challenge is you will need 32 Ethereum to stake and earn your rewards, which at the current price sits at a little over $38,000. So how can you pull in a trustful way and earn rewards ultimately for those who do not have the full amount. This is where Anchor comes in with their staking platform. And to find out more, we're going to be speaking to Ryan Fang of Anchor. Let's get into it. Ryan, welcome to the show. Um, thanks for being here, man. And uh, glad to have you here, to be honest. How are you doing? Thank you. Thank you. Very good. Uh, you know, the thing is, I think uh, it's, it was really crypto, you know, brought us all together. Yeah. Uh, I remember back in 2018. That's right. That's right. Yeah. A lot of people don't know this, but, uh, you know, how me and I, how me and Ryan met actually is um, I was I was part of the private sale for Anchor um, and you guys launched uh, during a bear market as well. And, um, you know, the token performed phenomenally. And, and we don't really talk about uh, price action much on this channel. But uh, what we do talk about is successful projects. And, you know, Anchor launched when I recall back in 2018. And, you know, you did really well. And to be honest, I'm, and I've said it before, you know, I'm quite thankful to Ryan just purely for helping me grow various positions and diversify my uh, crypto portfolio. So, uh, you know, it was always good to, good to have you on here. And, you know, as we spoke about Ethereum, there's Ethereum staking, you know, locking up your Ethereum and being able to earn rewards. And, but also Anchor has evolved since then, you know, from being a one-click node platform you know, making it easier for people to get nodes up and running having, rather than having to read lots of technical documentation on how to set up this type of node or that type of node. Um, but you're also branching out into Ethereum staking. So, Ryan, you know, what's it all about? Yeah. Um, so the thing is, basically, uh, we are a platform that is essentially like focusing on uh, decentralized, you know, Ethereum staking right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the idea is that right now, if you think about Ethereum staking, you have to have 32 Ethereum and you have to run your own node and then you can do Ethereum staking. Now that's quite difficult for people who don't have a technical background. Um, you know, when you think about it, you know, 32 Ethereum, you know, is not exactly a small amount of money. No, not anymore. <laughs> Ethereum can buy you a, uh, I don't know, a, a, a Tesla, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 that's for sure. That's for sure. <laughs> so, so look, you know, it's, it's not small money, you know, when you want to kind of like lock it away, uh, especially, you know, with um, some sort of setup. Um, the biggest challenge are like two things, you know, A, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of difficult for like everyday people to actually do it, right? Second, you know, the most problematic thing with it is that that's actually a big bag uh, of Ethereum, yeah. uh, you know, a big bag of money, right? Thinking about you, you know, setting up something, you know, you kind of don't even really know how to do it, right? And then uh, it's a large amount of money. I think your hand must be shaking, right? Usually. Right? Yeah, for sure. For sure. You know, we're, we're talking 40,000 plus dollars, right? That you're yeah. hoping to set up a, a node for staking and put it in there on the hopes that it doesn't suddenly disappear anywhere, right? It, it, it is daunting for the everyday yeah. consumer to be able to undertake that task themselves. Absolutely. Like the whole point of um, Anchor's decentralized staking is to help, you know, people to do two things. A, 
get uh, you know a have the ability to stake you know anywhere from 0 0.5 ethereum all the way to a thousand ethereum you know with just one click yeah you know that's a very big focus that everybody can do it in a very very simple and straightforward way you know as long as you have a metamask you can just do it right away so that's the yep. first thing we're doing now the, the second thing we're focusing on is also issuing you a aeth essentially um you know it's called anchor eth what it is is essentially a um, sort of a certificate of staking basically the idea is that even if let's say you know um let's say after a period of time you know ethereum go all the way to like two thousand four thousand you know three thousand yeah you want to sell your ethereum position right you wouldn't be kind of like quote unquote missed out you know on this like on, on the big huge bull run because you kind of like locked your ethereum in it right you can sell <laughs> and, and, and and i think that's a key point um ryan that we need to make clear is that anyone that decides to stake their ethereum on the ethereum blockchain you're fundamentally locking in your ethereum you have no access to that ethereum in any shape or form until uh the launch of ethereum 2.0 right this is this is the other thing and exactly. and we don't know how long that's going to be either like if we go by how long it took the beacon chain just to launch in december gone uh you know that's a that's that's a length that's a seriously length amount of time to lock it up without knowing without knowing when you're going to get that back well technically you kind of know it it's going to be you know in like a year and a half <laughs> it's a long time <laughs> yeah indeed right like i think uh Within that one year and a half time, you know, Ethereum can well uh, go, say, beyond, you know, $2,000. You know, it could also go under. Exactly, uh, exactly. For everyday people, you know, for people who probably, like, don't, you know, have too much exposure to mm. themselves, you know, in Ethereum or, like, who are not necessarily that all in, you know, in the, uh, in the space, um, I would say having the option to... Uh, uh, sell it early, you know, potentially buy some more of the staking mm -hmm. certificate, uh, are all great options, you know, for people to do now. So we're really focusing on two things. A is kind of like lowering, uh, the entry barrier for staking instead of like 32, mm -hmm. you can have, you know, 0 0.5 and you can still participate, uh, in Ethereum staking and get that, you know, reward. Now, second, you also have the, uh, uh, liquidity, you know, of your asset, you know, if, you know, you ever decide that, you know, okay, um, Ethereum has go up a lot, you know, or, or Ethereum has go down a lot, you know, I'm, I'm out. You can, you can always do that, you know, on Uniswap and ATH is also going to be listed on uh, various, you know, higher liquidity uh, centralized exchange as well. Let, I mean, let's talk about a ATH for those of my know. I mean, it, it, that's a, it's like a synthetic asset, right? That, that you're creating almost to represent yeah, Ethereum. Yeah, we'll see, you know, we'll say it is arguably one of the first bond token, you know, on the entire Ethereum network, right? The idea is that you, your ATH is kind of like a bond, which will reflect the principal value, which is the Ethereum that you um, stake into the, uh, you know, ETH2, right? As well as, um, as well as whatever they're called, as well as the uh, yield that you're mm -hmm. getting from it. Yeah. So just as a just as a practical example, let's just say I I, I locked up to Ethereum, right? Um, right. On on Anchor uh, as part of the staking protocol, and in return, I will also get uh, well. My, my two Ethereum is locked on your platform, but then I get a synthetic asset back, which is say two A E H, which is the Anchor Ethereum equivalent. So the mapping is one for one. Uh. So. There is a interesting, you know, calculation here. Mm -hmm, so the mm -hmm. idea is when when the uh, Anchor's decentralized Ethereum uh, staking platform is just launched, you know, when you deposit one Ethereum, you'll get exactly one AETH. Yeah. Because right now the AETH are already, you know, earning rewards, you know, mm. in the staking process. Right now, you know, when you uh, put in, you know, one ETH, you will not be getting exactly one ATH. I mean, something around 0 0.99. Something. Right. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's, it, it's, it, it's nominal though, right? It's, doesn't, it's neither here nor there, I suppose, if it is at, at that level. Okay. Interesting. So 
I can certainly see the benefit in it. I'm curious, how do you then draw the masses in? Because, you know, I, I'm aware of Anchor. I've been following Anchor for a long time. But uh, I'm curious, how do, you, how do you get that market share then from those who are thinking, you know what, I'm going to go into Ethereum and I'm going to stake it there? Look, you know, I think there are two parts of it, right? Like right now, Anchor is one of the, uh, one of the leading uh, decentralized, you know, Ethereum mm -hmm. staking platform. We have over uh, 33,000, you know, Ethereum now staked, you know, uh, in the Anchor, you know, uh, platform, you know, close to 50 mil right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, obviously, hopefully the number will continuously um, to grow. Uh, and the idea is that, uh, there will be a ecosystem and we are actively funding and helping community developers to do DeFi applications that's kind of like revolving around Anchor ETH. The idea is that the reason, so what, what we are trying to uh, make the ecosystem is that uh, not only your ATH have liquidity, mm -hmm. so you can use your Anchor ETH to participate you know, in all kinds of like uh, DeFi uh, applications and protocols. For example, Anchor ETH will uh, very soon be listed on Curve. Uh, it's already um, passed their community vote. Oh, wow. The engineers are implementing it. So basically, you will have a Curve pool uh, on Anchor ETH uh, on Curve, uh, mm -hmm. where you will be able to earn Curve reward. Um, there will also be some airdrop uh, you know, to incentivize you know, liquidity on Curve, uh, whether it was like Anchor token, whether with um, you know other uh, community project uh, tokens that is uh, that we are supporting um, to uh, really you know uh, making the entire AETH ecosystem uh, more prosperous. Now, that's one thing. Uh, second is that uh, there will be a lending uh, platform uh, that is based on the uh, Anchor ETH. Uh, the idea is uh, when you think about it. Anchor ETH um, being a bond-like token, it has its intrinsic uh, value. Yeah. Right? And uh, uh, being, it is a perfect collateral, right? You can use that to potentially borrow more Ethereum and you will be able to borrow Ethereum. You will be able to tolerate um, borrowing Ethereum at a higher interest rate than the borrowing rate on Compound. So the reason is, think about this right now, uh, you know, the borrowing rate on Compound or Aave is somewhere around, you know, 2%. Yeah. Right? Uh, but when your Ethereum is staked into the contract, you're essentially earning um, close to 10%, right? Uh, now, there is a big discrepancy between the uh, fixed rate and uh, um, sort of a flexible rate, mm -hmm. right? Uh, now, that's kind of a big, um, you know, that's kind of a big kind of a, uh, discrepancy when you think about it from a traditional finance standpoint, uh, and especially when you look at the supply rate, the supply rate of uh, uh, of Ethereum on Compound or Aave right now is really low. It's yeah. somewhere around you know zero point one percent, right? But think about this: if you are essentially using, say, a AETH to use that as a collateral to borrow out more Ethereum you will be able to willing to pay, I would say at least, you know, somewhere around 5% of interest rate, you know, AP, mm. uh, APY. The reason is you can in turn use that to uh, do staking again, where uh, in a year time, you know, if you are a, obviously if you um, believe in the, uh, you know, Ethereum 2 network, which, you know, we all uh, yeah. truly believe in. Right? Definitely. Um, you know, you'd be able to earn say like a 10%, you know, interest, uh, on your cost of capital, which is like 5%, right? So uh, a simple math um, that could be essentially is, let's say you put in one ETH, you borrow out, let's say um, 0.75, right, uh, ETH, and then you use that, uh, you know, stake into the platform, you use that as collateral again to borrow out more. Uh, essentially, you can lever up, you know, to three, four times, right? And let's say you use, you know, 100 Ethereum to do it, you'll be able to um, essentially, you know, get to um, potentially say like a 30 to 40 Ethereum uh, of uh, interest, you know, yeah. in, a, in a year and a half time, right? And then um, the only thing you need to sort of leave um, to pay for the interest is, let's say, you know, only 10, 20 uh, Ethereum uh, to do it, 
right? So this way, uh, you'll be able to lever up your position a little bit more and uh, uh, have the ability to uh, earn more uh, interest. And we believe this is an interesting way to kind of like bridge the gap of like the flexible rate and uh, the, um, you know, sort of a fixed rate uh, intrinsic um, to the Ethereum network. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a very smart play, to be honest. <laughs> so I think, you know, overall, um, having more and more DeFi uh, ecosystem, you know, we're mm. working closely um, with the Sushi guys um, so that hopefully, you know, there will be some incentivized, um, you know, incentivized liquidity there. So right now, mm. it's mainly on Uni, right? Uh, hopefully also soon on, you know, Sushi with some incentivized, you know, mechanism on Curve. Uh, and, uh, you know, we are also supporting our community developers to uh, launch, you know, Anchor ETH based lending and borrowing, mm -hmm. uh, all of that to essentially give AETH more use cases and more uh, liquidity and having more people to adopt it. Because when you think about it, compared to doing the staking yourself without access to liquidity, uh, without access to all those uh, uh, DeFi functionalities and uh, applications um, participate in the Ethereum staking with Anchor um, will seem a lot more uh, you know, attractive. Yeah, no, I, I can, as I was saying before, I, I can certainly see it because you're, you're extending the benefit beyond somebody just locking in Ethereum and just waiting because ultimately you're, you're making your, you're making your collateral work you for you. Me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. Yeah. So you, you with me, Ryan? Right, Ryan, we lost you there for a moment. But uh, just before we did, as I was saying, I, I, I like the whole entire concept because the idea is, is that I'm locking my Ethereum up on, on the Anchor platform. Whereas if I was to lock it up on the Ethereum blockchain, it's locked up. I just have to wait for the rewards, whether it's a year or a year and a half down the line, it comes to me. That's it. There's nothing that I can do with my Ethereum at that point. But I suppose the benefit here that I see is that when we lock it up on the Anchor platform and stake it there, you know, we get back a synthetic asset, which is pretty much more or less 99.99% representation of Ethereum. And, and what we're now seeing is that you're taking that synthetic asset, which then is liquid, and I can then, you know, use it in DeFi, use it to ultimately carry on growing my collateral, so to speak, um, without having to, you know, lock it up in Ethereum and not be able to do anything with it. So, I, I really like the uh, the con well. It's not even a concept because you're already doing it. So it's a it's it's a really smart play actually. Uh, I mean, talking about I mean, talking about the actual ecosystem uh, within within Anchor. Are there are there different types of uh, roles um, that that you can play within there? From uh, depending on whether you're a requester or a provider, is this a bit more you can talk about around that? Yeah, absolutely. So basically. You could be a uh, staker mm -hmm. uh, where you basically just stake your uh, Ethereum, um, you know, and or you can be a provider. Uh, the provider, anyone can be a provider as long as you, you know, lock in some, uh, whether it's Ethereum mm -hmm. or locking some uh, anchor token as essentially the uh, insurance funds or the deposit um, to sort of set against potential uh, slashing. Yep. Uh, you'd be able to be a uh, provider. And uh, you'd be able to earn part of the uh, uh, staking, so the staking fee uh, for you know your uh, for your service. Basically, the idea is that uh, when you are staking with Anchor, uh, let's say uh, you'd be getting uh, around uh, 85 to 90 percent of your staking reward, and then that 10 to 15 percent reward will be going to the uh, providers. Now, anyone can be a provider, um, you know, as long as you have a proper um, you know, machine to run it, right? You can, yep. you can even use the anchor, you know, there, there's even a anchor.com uh, offer of like running a if to, you know, node uh, with one click. Mm. You can use that to run the provider on anchor as well. You can just set up a uh, AWS, you know, EC2 instance. Uh, you can run that, you know, as well. Um, you can even use your own computer to run, you know, if you are capable enough to do it. Um, so yeah, those are the uh, ecosystem involved and also the anchor token uh is the governance token of the entire platform and you'd be able to use the uh, anchor token to make proposal on the platform to vote on 
uh, you know, changes to the protocol, mm. say how much percentage, you know, goes to provider, how much percentage goes to staker, right? Uh, you know, um, if there should be some portion also go to say like anchor token holder, some anchor token burning, some anchor token staking, right? Those are all up to the uh, community. Yeah, no, there's, there's, uh, there's so much actually, to be honest, when you kind of look at the platform beyond just uh beyond just beyond just staking so uh viewers definitely definitely check it out if, if that's your thing ryan um you know where do people go to find out more before we uh before we wrap up yeah you know just uh go to anchor.com you know you can access uh, a number of things anchor is providing anchor is providing decentralized ethereum to staking anchor is providing one of the uh most supportive amount of like protocols on the anchor uh, application we support more than 50 different mainnet nodes one click deployment yeah right and we also support the most number of apis we support ethereum we support bsc the binance smart chain we support okex chain we also support polkadoc we also support uh kusama right uh we're one of the uh you know i would say leading uh api service provider in the space as well uh, we also do enterprise uh, service as well. You know, if you are a company developer, you know, whoever want to maintain a lot of node or um, have us do your, you know, infrastructure, node infrastructure, um, definitely don't hesitate to do the uh, enterprise version as well. Uh, and we will also uh, work with, uh, you know, layer two projects to uh, uh, push through, you know, our next new sort of feature or next new uh, functionality, you know, of the anchor token which is a decentralized uh, layer two API uh, platform. Uh, that's yeah. something very interesting and exciting. And I would love to do another update. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, I want to be the first to cover it, Ryan. <laughs> no, no, that's definitely for sure. Well, look, Ryan, thanks again for coming onto the show. Um, for the viewers, all the details are below. Um, you know, Anchor's been around for a while. I mean, I suppose these are my parting notes. Anchor's been around for a while. And I think one of the, one of the, beyond beyond just staking i think and i've got to agree with ryan here is certainly if if viewers are interested in running a node right and you don't want to go down the route of having to learn and read free documentation then definitely check out anchor It's significantly cheaper i would also say than actually running the node yourself um in terms of if you look at the time and effort needed in terms of looking at the hosting space needed whether it's an aws server that you're spinning up it's all there. So from a one note, from a one click note perspective, you know, I'm 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 a big fan of, and and it's and it's no secret on this show. You know, one thing that I feel that is lacking in crypto in general is user experience. Is 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 the ability for an everyday user to come into crypto and be able to pick up. You know, we, we've got loads of great technologies. It's such an innovative space that we're in, and to be able to just pick it up and get on with it and go rather than having to read a manual all right so this is how i become a, an operator this is how i become a staker etc so you know the more of these one click solutions that we have that streamlines the user experience i think the better it will be for this particular industry to grow as a whole and become more mainstream so uh definitely check out anchor check out description below and uh ryan looking forward to hearing more about your l2 solution when the time's ready so uh once again man thanks for coming on the show and uh speak to you soon thank you